on location of a pilot experiment off the coast of Scheive, Norway, December 2021. Jörg Rieschen, scientist at the Institute of Neuro Informatics at ETH Zurich, invited sound artist and performer Julie Simero to try some interactions with orcas and humpback whales by imitating their sounds and aligning to the rhythm of their vocalizations. The goal is to make it evident to them that our sounds are not random, but a reaction to their sounds. Cetaceans have been shown to recognize themselves in a mirror. They recognize that the action of the mirror image is a direct reflection of their own actions. It was thought that by mirroring their acoustic behavior, the animals could realize that this new sound source is related to their own vocalizations. The team speculated that they could become curious and try to explore this new sound source, in the same way as children explore the echo when walking through a tunnel. Observations were then made in search of any altered or untypical behavior that could hint towards a reaction to the original stimulus. The expedition has raised many questions about the artistic sound practice as a leverage for science and artistic research. The ability to listen to orcas and whales, as well as the possibility to interact in real time, brought a new level of experience. Exchanging with wild animals with sound and music can trigger emotions and reveal a universal communication. When interacting with non-humans, we are forced to change our point of view to try and see things from the perspective of the animals in which we are communicating. In doing such an experiment, it is possible to actually build a relationship and a bond, not uniquely test animal reactions or decode their language capacity in their natural environment. Science wants to understand the mechanisms of the world and to crack the code of languages. Art is an open path to bond and resonate with life. Both are methods of research that can meet and exchange. It is not possible to reach a scientific conclusion about the reactions of the animals, but this was never the objective. The goal, rather, was to get a first hands-on experience with a new underwater communication device and to start a discussion or formulate a hypothesis, and eventually to design a more controlled study. Humpbacks often vocalize in rhythmic sequences, with the same unit is repeated, typically two to six times. We observed that when copying their sounds, they replicated the same unit more than 10 times. Humpback whales have an amazingly diverse repertoire. Their high-pitched whistles are sometimes difficult to distinguish from orcas, which cruise around the same fjords at the same time. Are the humpbacks imitating or copying from the repertoire of orcas? As above, we counted 15 repetitions of the same unit.
orca calls are most frequently upsweeps. Occasionally, however, one can also hear downsweeps. We whistled with downsweeps to some distant orcas over a loudspeaker in the water. They responded first with single downsweeps, and then a full chorus of downsweeps sets in. We have never experienced such a downsweep chorus before. We used a piezo microphone that we pressed directly onto the throat. With a pitch shifter, we modified the sound so that the spectrograms looked more like those of the animals. Again, a rhythmic interaction with humpback whales with large repetition of the same unit. trying to be creative. Would the humpbacks come along? There were also orcas in the area with their clicks and high-pitched calls. We arrived at the spot south of the island of Spildra, where a group of orcas were feeding on herring. The feeding was at the end of the day, after they engage in playing and socialising. There were two orcas around our boat, one juvenile together with an adult. We played high-pitched sounds with the microphone, Julie Simereau vocalized directly with her vocal cords to interact in real time. Our acoustic device got directly investigated by string click trains several times. Also in the recordings are stereotype calls, NKW 28I, in a call respond manner known as contact calls. This specific interaction lasted a long time and was deeply intense and emotional for the team. We could hear our voices reach far below into the crystal clear water. Such a clarity of sound without any noise disturbance is very rare. The same evening at the same spot, we noticed an atypical whistle. consisted of a biphonic up-down frequency contour repeated three times. We speculate that this is the juvenile still learning the vocalizations. 
whose repetitions are for typical babbling, as known as many species learn to vocalize. The juvenile was obviously curious about our sounds or our boat, and encircled us several times. During this pilot experiment, the acoustic world these animals live in blew our minds away. All the team was deeply touched, and after hours of interactions and listening sessions, we felt the desire to continue and seek bonding with these magnificent cetaceans. We would like to raise awareness of humans to not pollute the sea acoustically.